One of the things I absolutely hated about hockey was tryouts. I hated them. I found them stressful. I often would go out to the parking lot because I couldn't stand to watch other people judging my kid and saying whether he was good enough or not. And I think as parents, we hate to see our kids be disappointed, but I think that's to our detriment. I think if we can teach our kids to be disappointed, to be resilient, to go through those times when things don't go exactly like you want them to, so that you can learn how to deal with that, how to manage, how do you pick yourself back up. And looking back, I think tryouts taught Brock more than we could have as parents about disappointment and about resilience. Getting cut from teams can be extremely disappointing and usually is. But at the same time, most of the time when you don't make a team, chances are the reason why is because you're not quite good enough yet. And that doesn't mean that you can't work at it and come back the next year and try again, but it's okay to be disappointed and at times it's okay to not make a team even though your parents might not think that's the case. From being the bottom kid on a rep team to leading your house team, you know what, there's benefits to both. The sooner they realize that, that the better, right? So, I mean, don't always get the job that you want. Or, I mean, in, in later on in life, it's going to help them to have uh, some of the failures that they have in hockey, some of the losses, the devastating overtime losses where they should have won, and they go, oh my God, we should have won that game. Well, here's the mistakes that happened in that game to cause the loss. It's kind of taught me that things happen. You can't, you can't control it. You can only can co control your attitude and what you do. So as long as you don't, you can be upset for five minutes, be upset for a day if you have to, but then you get right back in it and it's going to change soon. Well, it's going to help him realize that he has to work for things, right? You have to earn that position. It prepares him to realize that that's life, right? You're not always going to be the starting goalie. I mean, he's he has been up until this point. He has been uh, the starting goalie. This year they've rotated, which has been good. Uh, where we played uh, prior, he was the only goalie for four years, so he got to play every game. Well, uh, now he's been rotating, and I think that's good. It prepares him for the next uh, step, which is, you know, at higher levels, there's going to be two goalies. You play off of each other, and it motivates him to just for more excellence and to be better. Mental side needs to be tough for sure, and, and that's, that, that's one of the biggest sides of the hockey world that probably isn't focused enough and on, where everyone has a power skating coach, everyone has a skills coach, everyone has a strength, strength trainer, but not enough of that mental side, I think, is focused on, and that could be the real key area in between one kid and the next kid and going to that next level. I think that there are so many lessons from sport. It's so hard to see him go through the disappointment see him go through the challenge but the lessons that he comes out of it with when he wants to do it he just works harder I mean we've seen really good things come from it so it's hard to go through it but those life lessons are great there's always next time and you can always like just learn from your mistakes and you know it's just always just about fun and you you get to learn it's just a learning experience disappointments in hockey really teach you lessons throughout your life getting cut or not winning that big game can really be helpful to you in the long run because you're not always going to get an A on the test, you're not always going to get the job you want and it's important to be able to be resilient through those times and to come back, work harder than ever and try again and I think that was one of the things that getting cut and being disappointed taught me at a young age because a lot of my friends who didn't have that disappointment didn't know how to handle failing tests or not getting jobs and it's important that uh, hockey really does teach you resilience. For more information on the Lessons from Behind the Glass video series, visit bchockey.net or lessonsfrombehindtheglass.com. Mm -hmm.